or not the last one, but this is now going to be talking about the sum of an infinite series. And you say, uh, you say what? Um, finite series, obviously, when we started talking at the beginning of the year, we talked about finite series, series and infinite series. Finite means they stopped. Infinite means they go on and on and on forever. So how are we going to find the sum of something that goes on and on and on forever? All right. Um, so that's going to be kind of an interesting mode that we're going to work on that I'm going to kind of show you how that kind of makes sense. Um, so when we go ahead and take a look at this, um, if you guys look at this form in sigma notation, it's exactly the same as a finite series. The only difference is our value that we stop at is infinity, meaning we're never going to stop, right? We're always going to be adding. So if you want to do a problem like this on your own, obviously you would all you'd be doing is constantly adding numbers, right? You'd never stop. Um, so there is a sum formula though, and the sum for this is much easier, I believe, than finite series. So if you have an infinite series, it's just a sub 1 divided by 1 minus r. All right? Now let's go ahead and work through a problem. Let's say I had sigma infinity n equals 1, negative 1 half, raised to the n minus 1. I think that was the problem I wanted to do. Or just to the n. No, n minus 1. Yep, OK. So here's my series, or my sequence that I have, my sigma notation. If I want to be able to evaluate this, well, obviously, guys, if I want to find the sum, I could just add in my numbers, right, and just simply do negative 1 half raised to the 1 minus 1 plus negative 1 half raised to the 2 minus 1, right? That's how we did it for finite series. Or if it was too much, then we had to use that formula like I did last, uh, last video. But in this case, let's just plug in what we know for the formula. So therefore, s of n equals a sub 1. What is it when 1, when is our first value? Well, our first value plug we start at is 1. Plug 1 in. 1 minus 1 is 0. Negative 1 half is raised to the 0 power is 1. Divided by 1 minus a negative 1 half. 1, one minus a negative 1 half is 3 halves. Then divide by the reciprocal. I'm sorry, multiply by the reciprocal. 2 thirds. 2 thirds, that goes to 1. So your sum is 2 thirds. Done. OK, Charles? Got it? OK. So what you guys can see is actually this sum is approaching going to 2 thirds, which is an irrational number, right? 0. 0.6666666666. And if you guys would add up each and every term, the first term is 1. The next term is negative 0.5. And what it does is it starts out very high, and it just converges onto approaching 0.66666, which will be your sum. So you can find the sum of an infinite series. And I spent so much time with my other classes showing them how it converges. I just